For those guys who are keen with the seasons, doing season one, season two, and so on, this is season number 88 on uh, Life Signatures Podcast, and we are talking about urgency, a very important topic that I thought we should discuss, especially if you're interested in being productive and achieving your goals and uh, maybe deploying your God-given purpose. You have got to be urgent. Me and you, we have got to be urgent. And therefore, we're talking about how to achieve more by living with fierce urgency, not just urgency for that matter, but fierce urgency. And that's what we want to deploy in these episodes. And so the question that we need to be answering is this, how can I inject urgency in my life? You know, when you're cozy and uh, comfortable and everything is okay, your data is there in the phone, your curtains are there on the windows and fuel is there in the car and there's no problem, you need this question. How can I inject urgency in my life? And also, when you're not living your purpose, you're not fulfilled in your life and you're just there, you also need to ask that question, how can I inject urgency in my life? And I want us to see how that can be done in the subsequent episodes, even as we continue delving into this subject matter. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Urgency is a very important trait for anyone who wants to be productive and to have impact in this life. You cannot have impact with less urgency. You cannot have impact in your life when urgency is not one of the values that you're deploying. And I've said in the previous episode that urgency is one of the things that is needed by every human being. As long as you're breathing in and you're breathing out, you're a human being, you and I, we need to be urgent with our lives now if before we can answer the idea the question of how can we get urgency let me tell you generally speaking there are two ways that you can get urgency (laughs) and the difference is in the choice there is urgency that comes naturally and then there's urgency that you impute upon yourself i want to talk about the latter later but then the former is the urgency that comes naturally (laughs) <laughs> you just don't need to do nothing. Just sit back. And for the most part, this urgency in our lives is always created by an adversity. You sit back and do nothing. Just do nothing. Nothing knows how to put <laughs> life into perspective than adversity does. Nothing knows how to help us to prioritize our lives and create some urgency like adversity, setbacks, crisis, heartbreaks. In one of my books, Turn Your Setbacks Into Major Comebacks, I talk about several phases that we're going to face in life. Like, I think we are in a life cycle. There is before the crisis, there is at the beginning of a crisis, there is during a crisis, there is just after the crisis. We are in a cycle. We're always in any one of those formats. And the most dangerous phase is after a crisis, after the setback. In this phase, we easily forget the hardships and the setbacks. And because we are now living in abundance, we're like, ah, it's over. The storm is over now. I can see the sunshine towering over the skies. Heaven is over me. You know? And we don't take note. We drop the ball and we are no longer urgent before another phase comes, which is just before the crisis. 
and we begin to helter skelter inject urgency into our lives what am i saying i'm saying that when you leave it to life to give you urgency it's going to be cyclic seasonal you're going to be responding other than anticipating and reacting but urgency is something that we need to deploy on a consistent basis actually on a daily basis that there needs to be some level of urgency not just when there is lack of money then we become urgent with the the kinds of work that we're doing of course that's okay or maybe there is a crisis in terms of our health or maybe lack of peace or maybe a relationship is in in on the rocks and we become urgent and, or maybe a physical condition in the body is, is not so good you you have some non communicable this non communicable is it communicable diseases and then what happens you become urgent no urgency is something that a world changer someone who impacts this world one way or another someone who's deploying their purpose it is something they inject into their lives on a daily basis there are very many incidences where i have had urgency come into my life naturally and to be honest with us every one of us in all these years that are going to be alive we're going to face an a setback or another and it will be foolhardy let me say this it will be foolhardy for us to try and live tiptoeing our lives so that we are avoiding these setbacks and these natural circumstances that cause us to inject a level of urgency and we normally call these things a wake up call we all need wake up calls at one point in time or another sometimes you might even be urgent living with urgency yes but then a wake up call comes in terms of a crisis or in terms of a setback that just catapults you to a totally different level and that's where bob marley is it bob marley or uh, someone else say that sometimes you don't know how strong you are until being strong is the only option that you have it gives you another level of urgency another level of deploying your life so we basically need this it will be foolhardy though to live our lives in such a way that we are only waiting for these natural circumstances as in these circumstances that are beyond our control that external circumstances that uh, people in the sort analysis world call threats we we'll only wait for threats so that we can be agent in our lives it will be foolhardy for us to do that like i said the most dangerous face of your setbacks into comebacks life it is after the crisis because you have this aura of invincibility that uh, never, I, I remember one day let me tell you this it happened to me i remember like it is yesterday so i was staying with my father in the capital city while i was going for management information systems course and uh, as fate will have it he was a minister of the gospel and he was transferred he was transferred from the capital city to the rift valley like 300 kilometers away there was no way i was going to you know go back to the city because he didn't have money for hostels and now the only thing that i needed to do was to get a place where i can be able to stay and i couldn't get a place where i can be able to stay so the option was for me to go to the local polytechnic in the rift valley eldoret polytechnic and select a particular course whatever course it is that i can be able to do my life had been relegated to basically nothingness or second rate like this smart guy this genius people call me genius a lot i don't know why this genius is now going to be uh, looking scurrying around for any straw he can sc- scrap on in uh, a tertiary institution to try and get a semblance of education agency was immediately immediately injected in my life and the only thing i could remember to do i still remember it like it was yesterday i went and locked myself into a room a church house into a room and petition actually don't petition bombarded heavens i told god how big he is i told god how he cannot fail to get me a place to stay I was bombarding heaven I was reminding God that this is uh, is foolhardy for him not to come through for me being who he is I told him how big he is how a creator he was how he did things in 6 days he cannot fail to give me this breakthrough and 
I could do that like the whole day and if there was uh, I go to rest maybe in the living room or in my bedroom if there is a thought that flashes in my mind that this is an impossibility it will never happen i go back to the prayer closet and i bombard heaven again and i was so urgent in my mind in the way of what i'm allowing to linger into my mind not to rest not to meditate i couldn't get no as an answer it was not in my vocabulary in the evening my father came back He says by the way a family friend has offered you a place that you can be able to go and stay with him and continue doing your course you guy now that was what you call after the crisis because i remember very well boarding a, a van from eldoret back to nairobi a very long stretch i was just playing in my mind the victory that i've just accomplished a prayer spiritual victory so to speak And when I got back to college I met one of my teachers one of my lecturers and they told me they asked me how was the weekend I mean how was the holiday and so on I said man what I went through I can face just about anything bring it on world He said wow that must have been interesting but I was wrong the face that you go after crisis kind kind of give you this aura of invincibility where you think that no crisis is going to come back and therefore there's no need for urgency because you know what I'm saying why I'm telling you that I'm telling you that because that urgency that I had in prayer was never revisited on a daily basis it was basically reserved you know of course another opportunity came and I'm going to tell you about that another day it was only reserved for crisis What I'm communicating to us today is that agency is needed daily and if you get to a level where you've achieved agency or you acquire something through agency remember that that agency you had that gave you that breakthrough remember that agency and inject it in your life make it an opportunity for you to have that agency on a daily basis like now if I'd gone back to my prayer closet every single day and prayed for other things even my own spiritual life Think of how different things will be for me spiritually because I am having agency practiced lived through my life every single day so let's not just rely on external forces to create agency in us if the external forces create agency in us let us be smart enough after the crisis that we've just overcome to use the same agency that we used to overcome to convert it into a daily force daily energy daily agency and that's it that's what i wanted to share with you today if you like these episodes please do share and subscribe to this channel if you're on google you found it on google or find it whatever place it is subscribe to these channels If you're on Apple, if you're on Stitcher, sub- just subscribe to Live Signatures and tell as many other people as possible. The more you subscribe, the more we reach more people. So help me reach more people. Help me shine my light into this world through this podcast. Until tomorrow when we go deeper. Bye-bye. <laughs>